Welcome friends, my name is DevEmpath and today I'll be showing you how to connect your Microtech router to an existing network to create a Wi-Fi access point, also known as a Wi-Fi to Ethernet bridge. I'll show you the easy way using Quickset, which is a little hacky and undocumented, but it is the fastest and then I'll show you what that sets up. First, make sure that you're connected to your Microtech router using a LAN cable to the F01 port. This is just in case Winbox struggles to find the router. Go ahead and open up Winbox, and under the Neighbors tab, you generally see the routers here, but sometimes this doesn't work, and then we just enter the F01 uh, MAC address that's on the back of the router. You'll kind of see that's in a sticker. Then you just have your login as admin, and you hit Connect. Now, once inside Winbox, you'll kind of see nothing on your screen. The first thing you should do is reset your configuration. So we go here to System, Reset Configuration, and then ensure this No Default Configuration checkbox is checked, and then hit Reset. It'll ask you to Reset and Reboot. Hit OK. Your Winbox should disconnect you from the router now, and then just wait around a minute. Right, and about a minute later, we can hit Reconnect. Now hit Quick Set. Change this drop-down from CPE to WISP ASP. For network name, we'll be calling this DevM Path. Fun. Now a couple settings here that defaulted to not great. Uh, you want to change band to basically the the easiest way to recognize this is on 5 gigahertz you want ANC or ANAC. On 2.4 you want like B, G and N. It's usually the one with the most amount of slash letters afterwards. Another thing that's also wrong is channel width. This will change to, to this one. This could be different depending on where you are in the world. Some Wi-Fi laws can be a bit weird. We'll use WPA2 and a password of YouTube123. You can also hit hide if you're setting this up in front of someone who doesn't need to know the Wi-Fi password for some reason. Now another important thing here is to click bridge. Now once we click this bridge, we're going to click bridge all LAN ports and then we're going to click this automatic button. For now we're going to hit apply. After we've hit apply, you want to restart the whole thing. So you want to go system, reboot. Yes, I would like to reboot. Your win box should disconnect. You should sit on this screen again. And after about a minute, you can hit reconnect. Right, so when you're reconnected, you should still see this screen, which has got all of your settings that you should have had before. That YouTube 1, 2, 3, for instance. Um, and now what you're going to do is you're going to reselect this address acquisition automatic. You're going to hit apply again, and you should get an IP address here uh, that should match your local network. And that is it. If you run a Wi-Fi scan, so here we're just in Windows running a Wi-Fi scan, you should see your Dev Empath network. And if you connect to your Dev Empath network, that YouTube 123, you hit connect you should have access to the internet. I'll just run a quick speed test. And there we go, access to the internet. Now in terms of what this quick set actually does, you can always go back to quick set to kind of see what your settings are. But basically what it does, we shall start at wireless. It basically enables a wireless link. So you see I've got two here because this has 2.4 and this is the five gigahertz. It enables it as an AP bridge and a, and a couple of other settings that you inputted, like the DevM path, SSID, and then this default authenticate will get to now. That creates you a security profile as well, which was our Wi-Fi password. It then creates a bridge. So it creates a bridge that was that setting to bridge everything together, essentially. Um, and this bridges your two Ethernet ports with your two wireless LAN ports, essentially. The other thing it does is it creates a DHCP client. This is so that you can access the router itself. And that's honestly about it. Essentially, all that this is doing is creating a bridge. As we can see here, it's creating a bridge that connects all the ports together. And that connects your Wi-Fi interface to your actual Ethernet port. So your actual Ethernet LAN one and LAN two bridges that between the two. And as we can see there, traffic is flowing over the Ethernet port and traffic is flowing over the Wi-Fi port. Easy peasy.
Thanks so much for watching how to set up your MicroTech router on an existing network and have a great day further.